Hey Gender Blenders, and welcome to week 55. I'm Erin, your host for Sundays to kick off the week, and this week's topic is about um, shifting our appearance when we came out. Um, you know, was there a shift in, in our appearance, my appearance when, when I came out as transgender? And to put that plainly, no. There was no, like, immediate shift. I didn't, like, chop all my hair off and change all my clothes and, you know, go full out butch. Um, it was a hell of a long, hell of a lot longer of a process. Because I could talk. Um, it was a hell of a lot longer of a process for me. Um, which, which started really early. I was never actually really comfortable in anything feminine. Um, so, growing up, I, I, you know, I, I wore as, you know, close to androgynous clothes as I could. T-shirts? Always. You should have seen my t-shirt collection. Jesus Christ. I had a bureau. Um, um, it was uh, six drawers. Six drawer dresser. It was pretty, it was pretty big. All six drawers piled high with t-shirts. And not just thrown in there folded in two stacks all six drawers full I had a lot of freaking t-shirts which I recently got rid of because I mean in the last five years I really haven't worn t-shirts and the t-shirts I wore I do wear are, are you know they're nice and they're not like my t-ball t-shirt from when I was five <laughs> or field hockey camp or something like that, you know? There are t-shirts that are more graphic tees and ones that actually fit me, not men's larges, because I am not a men's large. I used to hide in men's larges. So that being said, hiding was my main goal. Because I hated my body. I, you know, I, I dressed more androgynous. I hid my body. I didn't want all those feminine things, but I didn't also didn't want to wear something that would make me stick out. Because Lord knows, I stuck out enough. Um, <laughs> so, I would wear jeans, men's or women's, to uh, eventually. Um, in high school and, and previous, my mom bought all my clothes, so, you know, it ultimately came down to her, you know, what I wore. Sorry, thought someone was coming downstairs. So ultimately, it was about, you know, she 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 bought it. So I would, and I lost my train of thought. That's annoying. No one's there. Um. Uh, what was I saying? Um. My mom bought my clothes. So you know. They were all women's jeans, but I really hated how jeans fit. I hated jeans for the longest time, too, because of the way my mom washed them. Or not washed them. She'd hang dry them, and then they were really stiff. I hate that. Put it in the dryer. Um, <laughs> side note. Um, but yeah, I, I would wear as androgynous as I could. So I hate. I wanted to hide my, my body. In high school, I wore nothing but t-shirts and jeans and sweatshirts. And to school, I didn't wear those raggedy t-shirts. I wore the ones you got at, like, Limited 2 or um, Weather Vane. I remember that, if anyone remembers Weather Vane. Oh, God. My sister used to shop there a lot, so, you know, I'm going to be like, you need to get something. Okay, I'm going after my food. Sorry. You need to get something new. So, be like, fine, how about this? It would make her happy. I, it would you know, something at least I would wear. Um, but as I gotten out, got out of high school and started buying my own clothes, um, progressively they got to be more and more um, men's clothes. But I was still at a point where I was hiding my body. Um, I want to say about sophomore year. I, I had a friend who had body issues as well. She um, was anorexic. And so, you know, 
we really helped each other out a lot with body, our own personal body image. Um, she complimented me all the time. We would go shopping together, you know, so it helped. You know, we would eat together, so it would help her eat more. Um, because she knew, like, when she was with me, she had to at least eat something. Um, which was good, and it helped her, you know, and when we, we would go shopping together, and so, which helped me, because eventually, you know, she got me into clothes that fit me better, looked good on me, men's or women's, it didn't matter. Um, primarily for pants, I would wear men's, men's jeans, I just like the way they fit, I like, the, I don't like any flares or fancy cuts, I just, straight leg, it's good for me. Um, carpenter jeans, I like those. Also, because I like to fiddle out around with something with my hands. Always gotta keep moving, so I would always hold on to that little tag thing. I don't know. I'm weird. Um, but, um, eventually got into, like, polo shirts and shirts that actually fit me. Um, and I absolutely hate this polo because it's my work uniform. It's actually a really nice shirt. But, um, I don't know if you could see. Dicks. No, you can't. Dicks. <laughs> um. So, yeah. Um. Now? I guess I, I wear primarily masculine clothes. Because I like my appearance more. And. So, therefore, I wear things. Now that I like. Um. I'm more confident in showing off the things I like. I'm more confident in showing off my body. Um, it's been a long road, but, you know, I, I've, I've been getting somewhere. Um, so, one of the questions is, do I want to be androgynous at all? I'm at a point in my life where androgyny is, it was fun for a while, but I'm kind of tired of being, of sticking out. You know, um, if you if you know me as a person, you know I I prefer to be in the background. Um, you know, unless something really needs to get done, then I'll I'll take take charge of the situation. Um, but I manage I do a lot of behind the scenes management, I guess you could say, of things. Um, so I really wouldn't mind to just be behind the scenes again when it comes to that. Um, I'm, I'm not, I really don't like, I don't like the way it's put, um, am I, do I intend to go full binary? I intend to go full what I feel comfortable with. Um, and if that happens to be binary, then, you know, so be it, whatever. Um, I just want to be me. <laughs> And I don't want to have to explain myself first, um, I guess. But maybe I'll do another video going more in-depth about that. Um, what advice should I give to those out there that are um, in the androgynous realm, but, you know, don't want to? You know, those are going through a period of unwanted androgyny. I would say just hang on to it. Ride it out. Enjoy it while you can. Um mess with people, you got that right, you know, you can, you can have a lot of fun with it if you want, um, I know I, I used to have a lot of fun with it, it's sort of grown a little tiresome for me, but, you know, that's, that's, that's just me, and, um, you know, like I said, it, it, as, as you progress, you'll grow into whatever you're meant to be, and if you're meant to be androgynous, then you better get, get used to it, because, and get liking it. Um, enjoy it. It's really what it comes down to. And be patient. Definitely be patient. Alright guys. With that, I'll leave you for the rest of the week. And listen to everybody else, because usually they got better to a lot... Bleh. They got a lot less of that. Bleh. Yeah. And they got a lot more things to say. Alright. Have a good one.